Hey guys, it's Jenna Rose. Yes, I'm back here for another Friday on 7 Days of Slay, and yes, I did chop off most of my hair. This week is Conspiracy Theory Week here on our wonderful collab channel, and I'm coming at you with something a little bit um, different. When I heard we were doing Conspiracy Theory Week, I immediately knew what I wanted to do. I have been talking about this for so long, since I was a freshman in high school. In biology class, we were learning about genetics, and I guess I just had like an epiphany. I've been proposing this theory to people for so long, like, I don't know if it's actually scientifically checks out because like I'm an English person. I'm pretty sure werewolves could exist and do exist. I'm not gonna say where, that's not what this is about. This is about the scientific aspect. I've been trying to do some additional research into this, but my brain doesn't really work this way. I don't really have that great of a science education. I'm not that educated in science. So it's looking like a lot of fancy words to me. This could end up being very short, but I'm just gonna hit you with it. In our, when we reproduce cells, we have DNA, obviously, and that is copied to make new cells through mitosis, yes. These cells contain different proteins that code for different amino, acids, whatever, that create different like genes and stuff. Basically, different proteins transcribe to create different you. <laughs> when humans have evolved, we have obviously adapted in big ways. We started out what we came from the water as bacteria, which became fish, which became whatever. We grew legs. Those things didn't just happen overnight, but obviously something happened. These adaptations and evolutions happen because of mutations. A mutation, which you probably do know this, but if you don't, is when your DNA is not copied correctly, it is mutated, and it changes your genetic makeup, it changes like phenotypes, etc. But mutations are not necessarily a bad thing. And if these mutations are advantageous, then you are more likely to reproduce, you reproduce and pass that mutation on, thus evolution. But how did we grow legs? How do we stop having gills? These are things that can only be explained through genetic switches. Within our body, we have this DNA. These switches bind to a specific DNA and alter how it is expressed. And essentially, it turns a gene on or off. So like, turns off fins, turns off tails. Humans don't have tails, but that's because the genetic switch for it isn't on. We don't need that. Therefore, it is turned off unless you're like weirdly mutated or something, which is what I'm about to get into. So we contain these switches and mutations in these switches occurred, which is what allowed us to evolve into the human beings that we are today. Yes. So my theory is that who's to say that these switches can't be turned on via mutation again? These switches can't be reversed, can't be changed. Who's to say that a switch couldn't be switched to make a human walk on four legs, to make a human have dog-like features. I'm not saying these humans are going to change at the full moon. They're not lycanthropes, but I do believe that it is completely possible that werewolves somewhere do exist. I know I sound absolutely insane, but if you think about it, it makes a lot of sense. These switches could be set off. It is entirely possible that because of a mutation in one of these switches, a human could have more dog-like features. In my uneducated mind, this makes complete sense. If you're a scientist, like, feel free to comment below. <laughs> but I believe that it's entirely possible for these switches to be activated and express more dog-like features in a human being so that they're sort of half human half dog. And obviously we wouldn't see these people because what kind of half human, half dog are we gonna let live? What kind of half human, half dog are we not gonna ostracize from our society? We reject people who are different, even if they still look like human beings. If these people don't look like human beings, they're obviously not gonna stick around. I'm so sure that it's possible that there could be an island somewhere where these people are living, these werewolves, I'm sure. I know what I'm talking about, but I don't have the vocabulary to say it. But these genetic switches would make it possible for you to be a human being with dog or wolf-like features, thus the werewolf. If you don't think I'm a complete loon and you still wanna to subscribe to our channel, everybody else is posting conspiracy theories this week too. We have a lot of great stuff planned for you. Also subscribe to my channel down below, linked below, subscribe to all of us. Honestly, if you listen to this, I appreciate you. Please validate me. I'm so sure that this is a thing. I'm so, like proud of myself for thinking of this, like what a scientist. And essentially, 
werewolves exist, definitely. <laughs> Maybe someday I'll make a part two of this where I like look more in depth and not just off the top of my like freshman science head. It's been three years, so like take it easy. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.